There is good news in the Queen City tonight, folks. Yes, there's a new chocolate business in town, and they're making candy that is healthier, sweeter, and unique. Here's our man, Mike Randall. First things first, they had to learn how to make chocolate. It was a lot of home experimenting. Yes. And then we ended up actually taking some professional courses. Which Lacey and Tim Crist passed with flying colors and then opened up on Elmwood a couple of months ago with a sweet new business called Thinking Elvish Fantasy Chocolate. We wanted to do something that our family could be a part of. Speaking so. of family, that's Tim and Lacey's youngest child, Freya, who's the taste tester, mascot, and who looks adorable with chocolate on her face. We actually named our uh, flagship chocolate after her. Unlike almost every other chocolate shop around, Lacey and Tim make their goodies from scratch. No, really, they start with the beans. We crack them up so they're in smaller pieces and then the winnowing removes the husk. It's a lot more work, but worth it, they say, because their chocolate is made without chemicals or animal products like milk. People want something that's real, that, you know, that's made out of real food and not, you know, a whole bunch of stuff thrown together that you can't even pronounce. So that makes all of the chocolate here at Thinking Elvish Fantasy Chocolate extra healthy and uh, extra good. Oh, Their best seller is the sponge candy. Ours is a little different because we use uh, maple syrup. And their best customer is Diana Demers. She says she likes it because it's vegan. I love supporting a local business and it just tastes really good. The young entrepreneurs have started a GoFundMe account so they can buy a nice sign. You can find information about that on their Facebook page. Meanwhile, they're gearing up for Valentine's Day with this new treat. This is our strawberry chocolate. Uh, we make it right from organic strawberries. A young family business making a unique product in a great spot downtown on Elmwood Avenue. That sounds like a recipe for some sweet success. Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.